Hello, and welcome to the Cashflow CFO podcast. I'm your host, Andrea Jensen, and today I'm going to answer a question that we get asked a lot. What is a CFO and why do I need one in my business? So a CFO is, um, in my opinion, right, I'm a little biased, but a CFO is an absolutely amazing asset to have in your business. A CFO is the highest level financial executive in your company. They are responsible for the overall financial strategy, uh, cash flow, and planning. So if you think of all of those things, that's usually something that a business owner doesn't have the time or bandwidth or financial expertise to navigate on their own. And so they will bring in a CFO, a chief financial officer, to help them to um, build that, that uh, piece of their business, right? Part of their business strategy. And I like to, I'm going to give you all of the technical uh, terms around having a CFO and what they actually do in a business, but I think it would be um, beneficial if I start off and just give you a little bit of a, an analogy, right? We like to tell stories uh, as we're working with our clients because it helps them to understand these financial complexities that we're trying to explain to them. We tell a lot of stories and we give a lot of um, analogies. So I'm going to give you one here and I hope it helps you to understand the role of a CFO in a business. So imagine that you're the business owner and you're driving down the road in your car and sitting in the back seat behind you, looking out the rear view window of your car is going to be your bookkeeper, your accountant, your tax preparer, right? They're looking at historical data. They're telling you where you went, how much you spent, and they have a historical viewpoint of the business's activities. So sitting in the front seat next to you, the business owner who's driving the car is your CFO. And they're looking out the front windshield telling you, here's what's coming up, here's how to plan, and here's how to be profitable. So while you need everybody in the car, uh, they all have a very uh, distinct and very different skill set. And they're, the information they're going to provide to you, um, the business owner is going to be very, very different. So it's important for you to understand the role that each one of them plays in supporting the financial pillar in your business so that you can make sure that you're getting, uh, you're asking them appropriate questions for the view uh, that they take in the business and in the business's finances. So hopefully that helped you um, to kind of just get the, the big overall picture of what a CFO does. But let me dive a little bit deeper into explaining some of the um, everyday things, specific duties that a CFO does. So a CFO is going to streamline your financial processes and strategies. So they're going to make sure that you have the, uh, the right people in the right places. You're paying them the right amount for the role that they're supporting in the business. And they're going to also look at um, how do each of these team members um, contribute to the overall goal right? The big vision of the business. So that's one thing that the CFO does. The second is they're going to take all the information and all the reports from each of those team members, and they're going to compile it and present it to you, the business owner, in a way that's going to allow you to make financial decisions in the business. So uh, that could consist of job costing, right? If you're selling a job for a certain dollar amount and you've budgeted 40% of expenses to deliver on that sale, then you want to make sure that by the time you've completed that work, your, uh, your uh, job costing will tell you if you came in on budget. So um, they're also going to help you to scale your business because the role of a CFO is to look at from a financial perspective, they're going to create a financial roadmap for you, the business owner. So they're going to look at 
you, the business owner, are going to say, okay, here's what I'd like to achieve over the next one, three, five years. And your CFO's job is to say, okay, let me assess where we are currently with uh, the profitability of our business model and the scalability of our business model, and then put the right um, the right pieces together in this financial roadmap that's going to allow you to hit those one, three, and five year goals. So that's that's essentially what um, the CFO does, super high level. Okay, so let's take it down into some of the specific duties, right, on a day to day basis. So um, a CFO is going to oversee your other accounting or financial team members. So they're going to make sure that everybody is doing uh, contributing to um, the, the goal, right? The goal is to get clean financials in a timely manner and get those transferred into a management dashboard and any other supporting um, financial reports or analysis that's going to allow the CFO to present this information to the business owner. So the business owner knows exactly if they're hitting the mark with the financial goals that they've set out, or if there needs to be some um, adjustments that take place over the next month or quarter. So they're also going to be looking at ways to maximize cash flow while minimizing expenses and eliminating financial leaks. So maximize cash flow, right? There's specific strategies that a CFO will put in place in a business to um, speed up money being collected and slow down as much as possible the money going back out of the business to pay the bills and things like that. So that's how we're maximizing cash flow while at the same time, we're looking at every single expense that goes out in the business. Is it necessary? Is it uh, the right price point, right? Can it be um, can it be adjusted down or can there be any kind of, um, you know, switching to a different service, for example, or if we pay in full, do we get a discount? Things like that, right? They're constantly looking at how can we minimize expenses and eliminating financial leaks, right? So that's looking at, oh, hey, we're paying for this subscription, but we haven't used it in the last 90 days. Let's cancel that. Or looking at ways to um, facilitate other cost savings, met, uh, cost saving methods in the business. So in addition to that, the CFO will be providing financial forecasts and budgets. So it's super, super, super important that as a business owner, you are constantly looking at budget versus actual. Because this is what's going to tell you, you know, it's one thing if your CFO creates this beautiful projection and budget, but if you never look at it again, you don't look at every month, how did I measure up against what we planned? You're never going to know where you're at in relation to your financial goals. So that's why it's super important to have those financial forecasts and budgets and be constantly using them as a tool um, to manage spending, to manage the growth, and to make sure that you're on track to hit that financial goal that you've set out for the business. So the other um, other thing that the CFO does is helps the, the business owner, um, if there's board members, they'll create a board package for them, but they also are going to advise on the long-term growth goals of the business. So it's super important um, I wish every business could have a CFO on their financial team, but I know that not all businesses are in a financial spot where they can afford one because, uh, you know, CFOs, they cost a lot of money, right? It's, it's a very senior level um, experienced financial um, person. So there are services out there. Ours is one that you can get fractional CFOs, but, um, the CFO provides such a crucial, crucial um, insight into the business, right? When we talked about the car analogy, they're the ones that are looking out the front windshield next to you, the business owner. You're always looking forward also, right? You want to be, you know, you're thinking of what's next. How do I do it better? How do I get more clients? Well, your CFO is right there in partnership with you, looking out that front windshield of the car, where the direction you're heading to help you to create 
that forward-looking plan, right? Your financial roadmap so that you can um, spend your, your brain power working on all the other things that the business requires. So you've really got that strong partner that can hold the financial pillar of the business um, for you and allowing you, the business owner, to go and you know, have that opportunity to support the other areas of business that need that, um, that need your, your advice and, uh, your, um, ability to really just understand where the business is going and help get it there. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that, um, it's clear the role that a CFO takes. One of the other things that we hear a lot from clients, um, when we first meet them and be right when they're coming on board with us as they say, gosh, I feel like I've been asking for this information from my CPA for so long and they just never feel like they they're getting this exact type of information, leadership reporting that uh, the CFO does. And, you know, it's it's a, a big misconception because a lot of CPAs out there, they're tax focused. And if you're asking a tax-focused CPA um, to help you with these items in your business, it's outside of their wheelhouse, right? It's not what they um, their training has, has taught them to do. So you want to find a managerial accounting uh, CPA or um, someone along that, those lines because they're going to be able to help you. But essentially, a CFO um, is somebody who is that forward-looking senior role in a business and can really help the business owner put together the financial roadmap that's going to help them achieve their one, three, five-year financial goals. So I hope this was helpful. I hope that um, you understand now what is a CFO, what it does in your business, and how it can really help you grow.